so the prices of lithium and other raw materials for battery cells went absolutely wild. In fact, the price of battery cells doubled and the price of lithium itself skyrocketed, increasing by almost five times or nearly 500%. Those were the exact words of Elon Musk while discussing lithium-based battery SDA type still seen by most electric vehicle manufacturers as the industry standard. But Elon Musk has made it clear that Tesla is moving away from lithium batteries and shifting to a new type of battery technology by the year 2026. The reason? Lithium is becoming too costly and less accessible for Tesla. While most companies are still battling the challenges of rising lithium costs and the many drawbacks of lithium-based batteries, Tesla has been working quietly behind the scenes on something far more revolutionary aluminum ion batteries. This new battery type could become mainstream by 2026 and may even power Tesla's most budget-friendly electric vehicles. Way! Before we roll on, welcome to Amp Drive. If you're into Tesla and futuristic tech don't just watch, join the crew. Amp Drive is still under 1,000 subs. Yup, we're the early stage OGs. Smash that red button and be part of something before it blows up. Why scroll past when you can ride with the future? Now, back to the story. What makes this aluminum ion battery so exciting is its significantly higher energy density than current lithium based batteries. It also lasts much longer, up to 30 years, for just one electric vehicle battery pack. So, why has Tesla chosen to invest in aluminum ion batteries? And are there any potential downsides to this promising technology? Most people do not realize that even the advanced 4680 battery Tesla currently produces still contains lithium, as well as nickel and cobalt, all materials that come in a very high cost. Elon Musk has publicly admitted that the current 4680 battery Tesla makes is still more expensive than the batteries they purchase from other suppliers. That is why, as of now, the 4680 battery is only being used in Tesla's Cybertruck a premium electric pickup truck. In our view, having a high-performance battery that is limited to just luxury vehicles is a big missed opportunity. Imagine if Tesla could use that battery in the Model Y. Model 3, and other mass-market vehicles. Unfortunately, the cost just does not allow that. The root of the problem is that most of Tesla's current batteries rely heavily on lithium. Because of this, Tesla has not yet been able to launch truly affordable electric cars. For instance, their much-anticipated $25,000 electric car has faced over four years of delays and still remains unreleased. That is where Tesla's aluminum ion battery steps in a complete game changer. It could potentially phase out lithium based batteries in three powerful ways that might change how you think about electric vehicle technology forever. Starting with the chemistry, aluminum ions are far ahead of lithium ions in terms of the charge they carry. While a lithium ion can hold one positive charge, an aluminum ion carries three positive charges. This means aluminum ion batteries can store much more energy within the same physical size. That alone is a massive advantage. Have you ever wondered why batteries in electric vehicles or phones sometimes overheat, catch fire, or even explode? It is not a coincidence. These are often lithium batteries. One of the main safety concerns with lithium batteries is something called dendrites. These are needle-like structures that grow inside the battery during charging. They can puncture the separator between the battery's electrodes, which leads to short circuits, fires, or even complete battery failure. This problem is particularly bad in lithium metal batteries and gets worse with fast charging. That is why Tesla and other manufacturers have had to pour a lot of money into safety systems like re-engineering separators or using advanced battery management systems. And all of that just adds more cost. But aluminum ion batteries do not have that same issue. In the correct type of electrolyte, aluminum ions do not form dendrites. Research done at Stanford and other places has confirmed that aluminum batteries can go through tens of thousands of charging cycles without ever forming dendrites. 
This is because aluminum ions are released and absorbed in a more balanced and stable way than lithium ions. We all know that battery fires in electric cars have been a serious concern. And when lithium burns, it releases smoke that is toxic and very difficult to put out. Even after all these years of research, we have only seen small improvements in lithium battery safety. That is another reason Tesla is betting on aluminum ion technology. But more importantly, it is about cost. The rising cost of lithium is not just a temporary issue, it is a sign of overuse and shrinking supply. Elon Musk himself has said that there could soon be a serious shortage of lithium worldwide. Before we talk about how common aluminum is, we need to first understand how serious the lithium shortage is. Today, the total global lithium reserves are around 89 million tons. Compare that with the reserves of aluminum, which are about 1.59 billion tons. That makes aluminum nearly 18 times more abundant than lithium. And here is something else to think. About lithium reserves are concentrated in only a few countries. China holds around 16.5% of the world's lithium, while the rest is mostly found in South America's lithium triangle, which includes Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina. Aluminum, on the other hand, is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust. It makes up more than 8% of the planet's crust and can be mined in many countries. That makes aluminum not only more plentiful, but also less likely to be affected by political tensions or supply chain problems. Let us take a closer look at how aluminum ion batteries work. The anode DV negative site is made from pure aluminum. This is where aluminum ions come from during the discharge cycle. The cathode, the positive side, is made from layered materials like graphite that can absorb and release aluminum ions. Between the two is the electrolyte, which is usually a liquid or gel that helps aluminum ions move smoothly back and forth during charging and discharging. One of the best things about this battery is that it does not need expensive materials. There is no lithium, no cobalt, and no nickel involved. It just needs aluminum, graphite, and the right electrolyte. Tesla plans to make this battery completely in the United States, at a newly expanded facility near Giga, Nevada. The production line is expected to start working by the end of this year once all equipment has been installed and tested. Over the past two years, lithium prices have been all over the place, sometimes falling, but more often rising sharply. At one point, the price of lithium carbonate went from $8,000 per ton to over $9,271 in just a few months. That does not even include the cost of cobalt and nickel, which are often more expensive than lithium. All of these factors are what keep battery prices high and electric cars expensive for most people. Of course, cost is only one part of the equation. Performance matters too. Lithium batteries have held their spot at the top because they have been reliable for decades. But aluminum ion batteries offer some clear advantages. Remember, aluminum ions carry a triple charge while lithium ions carry only one. That alone gives aluminum batteries more energy storage potential. The energy density of lithium batteries has long been capped at about 250 watt-hours per kilogram. But early test results from Tesla's aluminum batteries have exceeded 600 watt-hours per kilogram. To give you an example, the Tesla Model Y long-range rear-wheel drive version has a range of around 357 miles using a 75 kilowatt-hour lithium battery pack. If Tesla used the same size aluminum ion battery pack with the new higher energy density, the range could exceed 1,000 miles on a single charge. That sounds like science fiction, but based on the chemistry and early test results, it is very much possible. Another benefit is how long aluminum batteries last. A regular lithium battery usually lasts around 2,000 cycles before it drops to 80% of its original capacity. That translates to about 3 to 5 years of daily use. But aluminum ion batteries have been shown to survive more than 10,000 charge cycles in some studies. That means they could last 30 years or longer if the vehicle is maintained properly. Aluminum is also very stable as a material. 
Most car frames today are made from aluminum. It does not react aggressively with water or oxygen like lithium does. Instead, it forms a thin layer of aluminum oxide that protects it from corrosion. This makes aluminum batteries more stable and longer lasting. And let us not forget because there is no dendrite formation, the electrodes in aluminum batteries degrade much more slowly. When it comes to charging speed, lithium batteries have come a long way. They can now charge up to 80% in around 30 minutes. But aluminum ion batteries charge even faster. Some prototypes can fully charge in just 15 minutes, and they do so without overheating. This is because aluminum ions move through the electrolyte up to three times faster than lithium ions and manage heat much better. Charging your electric vehicle could soon take no more time than enjoying a quick cup of coffee. The cost to produce lithium batteries ranges between $55 and $100 per kilowatt hour. Aluminum batteries, on the other hand, can be produced for as little as $15 to $25 per kilowatt hour. The materials are cheaper, and the global infrastructure for refining aluminum is already mature. For example, a 63 kilowatt hour lithium battery pack in a Tesla Model 3 currently costs about $6,300 to $6,500. But using aluminum ion battery technology, that same battery pack could cost just around $2,000. That is a huge reduction in cost, which could finally make electric vehicles more affordable for everyone. Aluminum ion batteries also score well on sustainability. Aluminum is one of the easiest metals to recycle, and researchers have already managed to recover up to 80% of the aluminum fluoride salts in lab settings. The aluminum foils used in the battery can also be cleaned and reused, making the entire battery much easier to recycle. That said, no technology is perfect. Aluminum ion batteries still face a few obstacles. One major issue is the voltage. Current aluminum ion cells only produce about 2.65 volts, while lithium ion cells can reach around 4 volts. That lower voltage could limit aluminum batteries from being used in devices or electric vehicles that require very high power output. Still, with continued innovation, aluminum ion batteries have what it takes to lead us into a more energy efficient future. They are safer, last longer, charge faster and are much cheaper to produce. Aluminum is far more common than lithium, easier to refine, and much better for the environment. Elon Musk's vision of a battery breakthrough is no longer just an idea, it is becoming reality. What are your thoughts on aluminum ion battery technology? Drop a comment and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Amp Drive for more exciting updates from the world of Tesla and beyond. Tap the bell icon so you never miss a thing. Thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate your time. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.